Here we have, uh, we're going to be doing an LED backlight uh, up upgrade for this PanelView Allen Bradley 550. This is uh, the touchscreen version. It, there's also a keypad and combination of keypad touchscreen version. The process is the same, uh, just this is the, one of the smaller units. Um, we're just going to go through the whole process. So I'm going to just show you. We've got 20, we have 24 volts plugged into the back. That's how it powers up. And you, this is an older one, it's a little burnt in, but you see how the light, it's not a terrific screen at all. It's a little bit of reflection in there, but uh, you'll see the image on the screen, the, basically the brightness of it isn't terrific. And what happens, I'm going to just flip this sideways, is you see a, a lot of the light is being shone all over the place and you're losing, all the light isn't being put through the fiber optic. And that's in a sense losing a lot of the light. Uh, you'll see even on the back of the wall here there it's, it's shining backwards, you're losing light. You want all that light to go into the fiber optic and into the front. And we have an image on the screen now. And uh, just zoom right down there. And you, you can read it. It's, it's fine. Um, the other thing that happens is because this produces so much heat over time, there's a little lens in here, it gets, the plastic gets brittle and when the lens falls off uh, all the heat from the light goes into the fiber optic and the fiber optic melts and then, then you're in more trouble than, than you were before. So this process right here is going to remove a lot of the failures with, just by removing the, the, the light for the 550. So we're going to take this off. This is your fiber optic bundle, and take a screwdriver. And now that I've had this on, I don't want to touch it because it's so hot. Remove that plug. <laughs> very, very hot. Stick that over there, and we have one more screw holding it on. This is the LED light from Monotech. Very simple design. While I put this on, uh, actually, yeah. one with the tie straps already on. Now, I've talked to some customers who have thousands of these in their facility, and it's almost like a full time job to go around and change these bulbs. Like, what? once or twice a week they're replacing these bulbs so with this LED backlight you don't have to worry about replacing them anymore it just works and this simple LED it goes inside the fiber optic or the fiber optic goes inside it and so all the light gets pushed into there This cable can be plugged in either way. If it's plugged in the wrong way, it just won't work. No big deal. Uh, so I'll give an example. So I plug it in this way, turn the power on, and as you see, the light w turns on here, but the LED doesn't turn on. So it's turned on back. It's Alan Bradley sometimes put the c puts their connector in backwards, so we can't. The only way we can do it is to do it this way. So it doesn't work the first time. Just flip your cable around, plug it in the other way, and it has a diode in there to protect it so no, nothing bad will happen to it. And there we have, see the light is all shined through the, there's no extra light coming out back and it's all coming through the fiber optic. And I'm going to turn it off for a second, I'm going to tilt it up, and you're going to have a look at the front. A lot brighter than the first than the original bulb because all the light is focused into the fiber optic and, and there you have it then this will last you for uh, it, it's it's a 50,000 hour bulb a light LED bulb so years and years and years of running this all the time again in the 25 hours a day seven days a week uh, no heat is produced you can keep your finger on it uh, it it runs around in really hot environments it might go up to 35 degrees C which uh, still you still 
cool to the touch, just a little bit warm. Uh, right now I don't feel any heat whatsoever. And that's something that Monotech Industrial Display Supplies comes in a little bag with all the instructions on how to install it. And you can visit the website www.monotech.com.